Ponder the Sea Adventure. Hello, you explorers. Welcome to Under the Sea Adventure. Today, we're diving deep to discover the amazing world beneath the waves. Are you ready to explore with me? Let's go. But before we proceed ahead, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Kids Academy. The Sunlight Zone. Our first stop is the Sunlight Zone. This is the top layer of the ocean where sunlight reaches, making it bright and warm. Here, you can find sea turtles, clownfish, and lots of seaweed. Did you know that most ocean life lives in the sunlight zone? It's because there's plenty of light for plants to grow and animals to find food. Look, there's a playful dolphin. Dolphins love to swim and play in this zone. Fun fact, did you know that sea turtles can hold their breath for up to five hours? The Twilight Zone. Next, we dive into the Twilight Zone where the light starts to fade. It's home to some amazing animals that can glow in the dark, like jellyfish and lanternfish. These creatures glow because of a process called bioluminescence. It's like having their own built-in nightlight. Isn't that cool? Lanternfish use their light to find friends and scare away enemies. Did you know that bioluminescence can also be found in fireflies on land? Nature is full of surprises. The Midnight Zone. Now we're in the Midnight Zone. It's completely dark here and the water is very cold. Only the hardiest creatures can survive, like the anglerfish with its glowing lure. The anglerfish has a special trick. It uses its glowing lure to attract small fish. When they come close, the anglerfish snaps them up with its big mouth. What a clever hunter. Fun fact, the female anglerfish can be much larger than the male. Some males are tiny and attach themselves to the females for life. The Abyss. Deeper still, we reach the abyss. This zone is near freezing and has immense pressure. Look, it's a giant squid. These deep sea giants can grow up to 43 feet long. The giant squids have huge eyes to help them see in the dark. They use their long tentacles to catch food like fish and other squids. Imagine having eyes the size of dinner plates. Fun fact, giant squids are rarely seen by humans. Most of what we know about them comes from squids that have washed ashore or been caught by deep sea fishermen. The trenches. Finally, we've reached the trenches, the deepest parts of the ocean. Here we find extremophiles, creatures that can survive in extreme conditions. These tiny creatures can live in crushing pressure and complete darkness. They're amazing survivors. Scientists are still discovering new species in the trenches every day. Fun fact, the deepest trench in the ocean is the Mariana Trench, which goes down about 36,000 feet that deeper than how tall Mount Everest is. A recap and fun facts. Wow, what an incredible journey we've had. Let's recap the ocean zones. One, the sunlight zone, bright and full of life. Two, the twilight zone, dimly lit with glowing creatures. Three, the midnight zone, dark and cold with bioluminescent hunters. Four, the abyss, near freezing with giant squids. Five, the trenches, the deepest, darkest parts with extremophiles. Did you know that more than 80 of our ocean is unexplored? Who knows what other amazing creatures are out there waiting to be discovered? Quiz time. Now it's time for a quick quiz. Which zone do dolphins live in? A is sunlight zone, B twilight zone, or C midnight zone? If you guessed a sunlight zone, you're right. Great job, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this deep sea adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an underwater exploration. Next time, we'll be learning about amazing sea creatures like dolphins, sharks, and jellyfish. See you soon, young explorers. Don't forget to subscribe. Visit kidsacademy.com to play educational fun games and watch more videos.